Fatherhood um, to me means just stepping into a, a greater role as a man. They say when you get married, you know, you don't realize how selfish you are, you know. And then when you have kids, you don't realize how selfish you are. And so I'm just really learning, you know, what it means to be more selfless in my life. For me, fatherhood means accepting the greatest challenge a man will ever face in life while simultaneously experiencing the greatest joys and rewards in life. Yeah, I think of fatherhood as I'm shepherding this little child and he looks just right like me. He loves to do what I do. I want him just to, you know, become a lover of Christ like I am. I have no idea. Well, I have some idea what fatherhood means to me. I've been thinking about that for a while and I'm not exactly sure yet. <laughs> Uh, just this concept of like God creates a person and like he gives this person to you and is like here, take care of them, show them that world, teach them about me. Honestly, fatherhood is your first ministry um, and it's important because it pretty much sets the tone for what the future is going to look like in regards to future leaders, future fathers, you know, future families. The first time I, I, I saw Anaya just, just coming out, I was just like, this cannot be happening. This is not real. This is not real. I, I felt like I was in a movie or in a dream. And I just said to myself, what's going on right now? You know, she's, she's here. And I just looked at her and, and said, okay, this is it. This is welcome to this world. And I'm your dad. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's going to be okay. If I can be frank, it was kind of bittersweet because uh, I grew up not having a father. Man, how can anybody walk away from this? I was like, I'm never walking away. I'm gonna be here to the end. And I, I just made a declaration, like whatever happens, like it's me and you, kid. And there's nothing else coming in between that. I knew at this being a dad, and it feels like I don't have everything figured out yet, but it's okay, you know? I always like to try to think I'm trying to take the narrow road, and you know, when I mess up, I uh, you know, just ask for forgiveness. If I put that in practice now, and as he gets older, he'll see you know, that we're human, I'm human, you know, I'm a person who will mess up, and that's okay. The best part about being a dad is actually just seeing the creativity, um, the imagination, the, the joy that my daughter has. I even feel like I get to be a kid again with her and just, just have so much fun. I get to play with toys. It's just so much fun. You get to tell dad jokes and they have to listen to you because, you know, they're sitting there on the couch and usually they laugh at them. Um, not really. The best part, I think, is, and maybe my kids are kind of in the teenage years, so I'm kind of experiencing this more and more, but getting to see their successes is huge. When you do see them take a step in the right direction or, or make some accomplishments or, you know, reach out for God and, you know, those moments, and it just fills you with this, yeah, you're gonna do this, you're gonna be awesome, you're gonna be great and that sense of joy and pride and happiness. I'm glad I'm a dad at those times. <laughs>